So I want to talk a little bit here about how to format what you're seeing in an Excel spreadsheet. So what I've done here is I've entered some data and it's sales data for a company, uh, their profit. Uh, let's say, I don't know, it's, it, obviously that won't be a lot of sales and profit. But we can uh, say this is in hundreds, thousands, hundred thousands, for example, uh, and the number of orders they receive. I want to do some calculations and just kind of pretty this up. So there's two kinds of formatting that we need to think about. One is kind of text formatting, and the other is how we format numbers. So if I'm looking to present this, I need to make it look a little a little more attractive. So what I would do first is I'm going to select all of these months here. And that's a heading, right? So I'm going to make it bold, clicking on the B up here uh, in the menu bar. And I want to underline it because headings are usually blocked off that way. Now, the, just a single line underneath is the default. So I'm going to click on this. But there are uh, a lot of other options, right, left, top order, or whatever you, you want to do with it. Uh, and I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to make this bold. And I'm going to make the right-hand border. And I really should have put an underline there as well. So let me add that. Okay. So it, it prettys it up just a, just a little bit. Then I'm going to come up here. I'm going to do a little more, actually. I'm going to center the headings, right? These three options here, left justify, which is what it already is, center, and right justify. Well, I'm going to go with center. I want to take my labels over here uh, and right justify them. Now, that, co that column is a little tight for my taste, so I'm going to come up here. Uh, right between the A and the B. Notice how the cursor changed. And I'm going to drag that over just a little bit. That's going to give me a, a slightly better fit. Okay, so that's some basic formatting. You can see your other options up here. Uh, we can change the font. We can change the font size. Uh, we can change, that's the background color and the actual font color. And um, we do have a few other options here, italics, underline, all the usual formatting, uh, text formatting things. All right, so how about the numbers? Because this is where things really start to get interesting. These sales and profit numbers, those are dollar amounts. Right? So I'd, I'd like to format those uh, as a currency. So I can do that and come up here, select the currency option. And you notice what it did, right? It... Uh, it did a lot. It added commas. It automatically expanded this to two decimal places because that's how we always do money. And it put a dollar sign out in front. Uh, and it changed the column width. Right? It expanded the column so that uh, everything is, is visible. I want to show you what happens if it's not. Let's say I shrink this up a little bit. If you see this, right, when, when you're working on a spreadsheet, you see all these, these little hashtags. That's Excel's way of telling you, I, I just don't have space. I don't have the room to show you this. So I'm going to come up here to that, just like I did with the A and B over here. I'm going to come right up between the B and the C, and I'm going to double click on that space in between them. And that tells Excel to form to change the width of the cell so that it's just big enough that everything from the top of that column down to the bottom is visible. So cell B2 was the biggest one, so that, that's what it accommodated itself to. All right, so now, now we've got some currency format. Well, let's do some calculations here. I'm going to come down here, and, and I'm going to calculate the percent profit. I'm going to make that bold. You can use the, the, the menu up here or just do Control-B, and I'm going to auto-size that. And I'm going to calculate the, the percent profit. I'm going to take the profit amount, and I'm going to divide that by the sales, and that's how you get... Uh, profit margin. I'm going to copy this over. I'm going to click on this little link, this little button right down here at the bottom. Drag that over. And okay, copy my formula over. And it did that nice automatic updating. So it's getting this in the current column every step of the way. Now I want to make these a percentage. Up here in this number section, you notice there is a percentage option. Right, so I'm going to click on this. Uh, excuse me. Let me select the entire row here. And I'm going to click on this percent option. And then it did two things. First, it added the percent sign, which is great. 
And remember that to convert a decimal to a percentage, you have to multiply it by 100. It did that as well. If I, if I back this up, I'm going to do control Z to undo. 0 0.073899, multiply that by 100, it becomes 0 0.07. Excuse me. Multiply that by 100, it becomes 7, and we've got 7%. Now, it, it did do one other thing. It, it rounded this to the nearest integer, which may not be what you want. You may want to see some decimal values in there as well. And we can fix that by coming up to these two options here. One of them increases the number of decimals, the number. The other one decreases the number of decimals. Now, now before I do that, I'm actually going to do this just a little differently. Instead of clicking on just these cells, I'm going to click on the whole row. Right, this because maybe I'm thinking I'm going to add some more columns for the next six months over there, and, and I don't want to do this over and over again every time. So I'm just going to apply that percentage formatting to the whole row, doing it again, and I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to increase the number of decimals to two. Okay, good. Now, now I've got I've got some percentage formatting in here as well, and I, I like these things to be consistent. So I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to make my border go all the way down. And I've got some nice, some nice formatting. Or we, we've got we, we see how to format with currency. It's going to format with a percentage. Uh, one thing I do want to point out about these percentages because this is a common mistake I see students make. They try to manually come in here. And do the multiply, do the times 100. Don't do that. If I do that, watch what Excel does. That, that number blows up. Right? Excel is going to handle the decimal to percentage conversion for you. So you don't have to add the, the 100 times part in there at all. Okay, so one, one other thing uh, I, I want to take a look at. Let's say we want uh, sales... Can't type today. Sales per order. Well, I'm gonna make that bold. I'm gonna resize, and I'm gonna add that bar on the right. And I'm gonna do the calculations here. I'm gonna do sales divided by orders. Now, it's not really a dollar amount. Technically, it's dollars per order. So you, you you may not want a dollar sign in there. You might want to take that back off. And to do that, you, you, I'm going to come up here, select this drop down in the number category. And I'm just going to pick general. General is like, just don't, don't try to format it at all. right? Just give me the calculation, give me the number, exactly the way it comes out from the arithmetic. Now, I don't want it to be that big. So I'm going to shrink it down. I'm going to decrease the number of decimals down to, let's say, one. And then we'll copy this over. And there's my results. All right, so one one more thing uh, I, I do want to talk about how to add in there. Let's let's say you just want uh, to add commas. Right now, let me do this. Let me take these numbers, and I'm going to multiply them all by 100. I don't know why a business would want to do that, but it's going to let me show you what I want to show you. If all you want to do are add commas, there's a comma button up here. Right, clicking on that. You, you notice Excel, when, once again, expanded all the columns. Right, so so that everything is the right width, and it threw the col uh, threw the commas in there for me. Okay, so these are you know, Excel's basic formatting options. Right there, there's a lot of other stuff to do. You can do. I encourage you just play with the buttons. Right, don't be afraid of clicking on stuff. You can always undo. Uh, you can always just save your uh, closure file and not save it. All right, that that'll revert you back to whatever it was before you did. You know whatever you tried that didn't really work for you.